Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, as I usually am. And this time we are getting it all in on a Ross, or one Eye Ross. You know, one Eye Ross hangs out by the bushes all the time. Uh, anyway, it's pronounced Oni Ross, so let's just leave it at that. Um, so anyway, this game was developed by Coal Valley Games, published by Ultimate Games, and is available for £9.19. So we play as a guy called Liam, who wakes up late and expects the day to be a normal one, except it's not, and the best I can say for the game is, it really does look like we are on some kind of mega acid trip, but you'll soon see. Now achievements are very easy, there are only two mini games we need to play which could give you a little bother, a few games and books we need to pick up when we get to the bedroom, no Kama Sutra ones though which is a bit of a shame, I mean those pictures are a great read after all. Uh, a few miscellaneous ones which we can easily obtain by following along, but there is one achievement where we need to grab a cuckoo out of a cuckoo clock, a cuckoo, a cuckoo out of a cuckoo clock, but you can only grab it when the real life time is either on the hour or at half past. So say 8 o'clock or f around half 8, so it's either 8 o'clock on the dot or half 8 in real time. But we will come to that a little bit later on. So overall, it's a great game, it's a beautiful environment, great funny dialogue, so we can get this done in around an hour. So with that being said then, let us begin. Hey, Sarah. I got lucky. There's literally no one here. Even though it's co-ed. I'll be right back. Oh, not fair. I always wait in line forever. Anywho, just wanted to tell you that I'm in the car already. Okay, give me a second. Great, love you. So far then, everything looks great. We're gonna head out and see Sarah in just a moment. Uh, so it is using the left stick, to, uh, left stick to walk around, so we're gonna turn directly behind us. Um, have a look in our options first and go down to settings. What we're going to do is tick the run toggle button and you can do the crouch one if you want but basically with the run toggle all you have to do then is press the left stick in once and then we can carry on sprinting for absolute days without having to stop and start. So have a look inside the oh, toilet then. Mm, that's delicious so far. So we've already having to pick up a poop stained key. Uh, watch you don't put your fingers in your mouth though, that might not taste the best. Um, interact with the door by pressing the A button and then to use an item you actually have to press the Y button. So use the Y button to use the dirty key and then it'll open up, press the A button again to go out. So uh, again press in the left stick and that is going to make us run. Um, and then head to the left down here and this is where the mega acid trip begins yo. In just a moment, anyway. Uh, so we've got to come up to a code. Obviously, you've got to have a look around and get the code as you normally would. But we're just going to... I'm just going to tell you it anyway. So it is 5163. So that's 5163 from top to bottom. That's going to open the door. And then, well, this is actually where you, you're off your nut. And this is where it begins. <laughs> okay. So uh, pull the lever here. And then there's going to be a key. Luckily, this is not as uh, poop stained as the one we just picked up prior in the toilet. Who leaves poop stained keys in the toilet anyway? Turn around and then use the key on the door. Again, press the A button then and use the Y button to use something out of your inventory. And then head straight into your bedroom. And there's nothing wrong going mad. We've all been there. Not me personally. I'm a very uh, respectable and mature adult. <coughs> Lies. Damn, how long did I sleep? What? Hours out again? Alright, time to get up. I need to go to Danny's to sort the birthday party out. Should be open now. So that's unlucky, we locked ourselves in. Great. 
Anyway, when we regain control of Liam, have a look at the right side of your bed at the top shelf. Have a look at this anatomy book. It's not Kama Sutra, which is always a shame. Uh, but take a look and then you can press B to drop it. Have a look at the shelf below and have a look at this safe. Now you need to press the left directional stick to sort of go up and go up to 27. Press right to go uh, to go to the left and then go to 12. And then left again to go up to 35. That should unlock the safe. That will unlock the key. But that is not the key that we're after. That one had a little poop on it, but that's okay. We'll wipe it off. So press Y to crouch. Have a, uh, Pick up this game, which obviously is not GTA. And then have a look actually in the drawer itself. And get this ripoff, which is not Red Dead Redemption 2 in the slightest. Make sure to pick those two up and then drop them. Uh, go to the other side of the bed. Have a look at this safe. And the code is 107. So that's 107. You don't actually need to pick up... Uh, the paper inside, it doesn't do anything, but I take it obviously just to be on the safe side. So have a look in this right hand drawer now, and there's a little puzzle that we need to do. Um, it's sort of one of those, you know, move blocks so you can get the key to the lock kind of game. It's it, This one is very simple, this shouldn't take more than a minute to do. Um, yeah, so, again, uh, apologies for that was a bit fast explanation, then there's just a you know, quite a few things to pick up, quite a few things to do, all while trying not to get brown finger. Oh, there was something inside. So once that's done, you don't actually have to have the torn piece of paper. I mean, we can try and sell it to nobody for nothing a little bit later on. But that makes no sense. So you can drop the block in. Have a look at the top left hand drawer right there. <laughs> Unique Battle Royale 2. Make sure to pick that up. Great sense of humour these developers have got by the way. Well done. And then if we go to the left a little bit. And on the top of your clothes wardrobe there are going to be two games that we need to pick up. So make sure to pick up the two games. <laughs> Legend of Giovanni. And the one anatomy book as well on the right. So... Those are done. If we go to the left side of the door, up above, just sort of to the right of the computer desk, this is where you should now unlock. So that's obviously not pro or anything, is it? But that should now get you the Compulsive Gamer Achievement. Um, this is the only place where you can get this achievement, so make sure to grab that then before you leave. So, open up the laptop, and the password is Unicorn. So for some reason, this guy... When he's on the old uh, drug binge, he has an apparent obsession with unicorns. So these are the... You'll get an achievement as well for this. Hello Darkness, my old friend. But these are the two trickiest achievements of the games. But they're not that bad. So how to play then? So the directions, you press obviously the left stick. To do a trick, you've got to jump using the X button. And to do a trick, you've actually got to press the left directional stick and the right trigger at the same time. That's how you do a trick. And it, it may take a few, it may take a little while to get used to the the button combination and how he actually handles. Um, but all we're looking for is basically just getting to 5,000 points. So you can actually do this just by jumping over all the obstacles and everything. But obviously it takes a little bit longer than if you were to do some tricks. Um, so yeah, as you can see. So it may take you a few tries just to get used to the buttons and everything. But once we are actually done with that, we are now going to play Unicorn's Revenge. Now this one is a little bit easier, this is just a platformer. Now what we can actually do, uh, with this unicorn bleeding out of his eyeballs, we can actually spew out rainbows. And to collect more rainbows, um, so you press the right trigger, obviously to spew it out and destroy enemies. And you see a little, you see a little puke, pukometer. In, in the right top corner there. So you actually have to collect these lollipops to keep your pucometer full. Now you don't actually have to destroy every enemy or anything. You literally just have to get to the end. Um, so like I said, this is just a little platforming section. So it's it's not really too difficult at all um, as long as you take your time. Um, I only died once to be honest. And that's because I was trying to rush through just to see sort of what it was like. Um, but it's more of a case of just waiting for this platform, jumping across. Um, obviously, you can't see anything, so you have to be quite careful. Obviously, you always destroy big broccoli ass with it. I tell you what, it's no wonder you want to puke if uh, if it's giant broccoli that's attacking you, because eating regular broccoli makes you want to puke anyway. 
So just, uh, yeah, just keep taking your time going through the level here. It's not too bad if you, do, like I said, always try and look out for these lolly, puke lollipops. Broccoli trying to attack you and you've got to eat puke lollipops. This is, this is like, this is a drug lord's haven, this isn't it, when he's on the trip. Surely, surely this is what happens when you see. Again, I don't know, I'm a very respectable and mature adult, as you can tell by all my videos. <laughs> No, oh, just wait for this platforming bit. For some reason, I had... This is the biggest part I had trouble with, for some reason. By the way, there are two ways you can actually end this level. You can go up a sort of upper route and go down a lower route. So it may look a bit different than mine, but don't worry. The ending's always the same. And, yes, yeah, so I died. So that stinks. So, you know, try not to die if you can. Um, it, would, it helps massively. Obviously, if you do end up losing all your four hearts, you just have to start from the beginning again. Uh, but it doesn't take too long, as you can tell. I'm probably making more of a meal out of this than I need to. But this is the ending now, so as soon as we get to the top, I'm going to make a big jump for it. And then getting into the cave at the end is where the ending is. So again, like I said, you might go down the lower route, so it might be a bit easier for you to do that. But that is how you end the level. So, head to the storage door, A to interact with, and Y to use the moldy poop key. And on the right will be our last Kama Sutra, uh, I mean anatomy book, Why Do Men Have Nipples? And that's a great question for staying awake at 3am overthinking that. So pick up the mini piano next to it, press the music note button and you just have to copy the exact same tune on the piano. Now sadly I'm useless at telling you piano keys, but I'll tell you how many times you have to hit the one key as you follow along. So it's two, 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 three, Three, one, one, one. So again, apologies if that was a little confusing. Uh, my piano key, I'm just useless at it. But hopefully you got that first time. It's not actually too hard. It's not too bad. So have a look at this safe now. And the key code is 8137. So that's 8137. And then that, and then press the um, unlock button or the lock button on the left. That will give us the key, and now we can get out of here. So remember, if you don't have the um, gaming compulsive achievement or the anatomy book achievement, make sure to just have a quick sweep of the room and pick up all games and books before we leave. Ah, so now we can finally get out of here, and we can continue on our mega mushroom trip. Thank God, that was again. I've got to apologize, guys, if a lot of that was a little bit fast or, you know, a lot of it seemed to not make so much sense. I do apologize. There's just literally so much we've got to pick up and so much we've got to do. It's sort of hard trying to keep up and go along. But now we're on this pretty serenely beautiful looking island. And this is the longest part of the game. Um, but it, it, it doesn't take too long. It's not overly boring or repetitive or anything. But there are there is quite a few objects that we do have to pick up. Hey, screw you, buddy. Come on, me shithead. Shithead. I can hear you too, you know. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder. Who are you calling weird? I was just... Uh, never mind. But to be honest, you don't look like a regular pigeon at all. What, what pigeon? I'm a parrot, bitch. Now, leave me alone. I want to relax in silence. Alright, I get it. Just relax. Well, you heard him, guys. He wants to be called Parabitch. So that's his name from now on. Parabitch. <laughs> but when we can control Liam again, um, go to the house, have a look at this mailbox here. We're going to pick up a key. Uh, not for Parabitch, though. Screw that guy. It's a rusty key, so we're going to be taking that. And then we're going to head over to the sort of shed or the shack over the other side. Again, A to interact with and Y to press, uh, use the item. Get it in, stick it in, and get inside. Oh, yeah. So, a little catching's gonna happen right now. And now we're like, whoa, what in the hell? So, he's kind of, this is kind of like drugception now. So, he's in a sort of acid trip, in a mushroom trip, in a dream, in another dream. Uh, what's going on? I don't know. Anyway. So this is where we can grab the Cuckoo Clock achievement. So as I said in the beginning of the video, you can only get this time in the real life, real life of reality at any point during the day when it's either on the hour or half past. So for an example, for me, it would be half past two or, you know, two o'clock, three o'clock, whatever. But as long as it's any time during the day, 
half hour or on the hour, that is when you can grab this achievement only. Um, again, you can just carry on with the rest of the video and come back when it is half past. I, but I went for a tinkle and uh, made a cheeky cup of brew, had some food because I'm fat like that. Then when it came to half past, I just kept mashing the A button where the cuckoo was about to come on, uh, come out at the top. And because he only comes out for about a second or two. So just keep mashing the A button when it's half past or on the hour. That'll get you the right on time achievement for grabbing the cuckoo. But you don't actually have to pick it up, so don't worry about that. But again, just make sure the real life time is either half past or on the hour. And you should be good to go. So um, have a look at the trunk and grab the wheel. Go to the table to the left of the car. And underneath it is the steel wheel. So again, it's the right trigger to take things. Um, go to the other end, to the sort of left front side of the car, grab the empty fuel can. Uh, yeah, so we have got a lot to do. And then if you turn around and go to the other end of the shelf, this is a nice little coal hammer. <laughs> coal hammer, he says cool hammer, but close enough. So crouch, have a look underneath and we'll grab these electrical cables as well. Again, right trigger to pick up and pick up these nails as well. And then open up the bottom drawer, and we've got a short fuel pipe. Well, that kind of reminds me of something on myself. Short pipe. And there's also a fuel cap we need to be grabbing in the middle drawer. So open up the middle drawer, and then take the fuel tank cap. And they remind me of my nipples. Uh, anyway, moving on. So go outside to the right of the house, and we're going to grab this airplane wing. Uh, the left side wing. This is what we really need, and now you're wondering what the hell is actually going on. Well, it all makes sense eventually. So now uh, walk back towards the house and you see these sunflowers. We're going to be picking up the ones without the leaves on it. Again, th these, these are all for a reason. There is method to my madness, so don't worry. So, but make sure to pick up the two sunflowers. And then head back into the house on the porch. And there is a battery which we need as well, so take that. And then we're going to head sort of to the left of the house. There's a control unit on top of this rock. Bloody hell, mate. It's just constant. And then if we actually go on top of this big giant rock here, there's going to be a propeller, which we need to take as well. Oh, baby. So um, head to the opposite end, and we're going to grab this obvious piece of wood plank. So we need to pick that up as well. I don't know where he's putting all this. Um, and then head sort of into this grassy area straight from where we were. And eventually you'll see the right side engine just in this grassy area. Um, go sort of back on yourself now. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to be going across the bridge. So the opposite side of where you were. It's a bit rickety. You're going to poop your pants because I know I freaking would. I am a baby when it comes to heights anyway. <laughs> Um, so it's telling you what you need to do. So obviously get your inventory out, press the A button, and then scroll across using the right bumper to the wood plank. Um, obviously, because you're not going to use sunflower to get across you. <laughs> so use the wood plank, press the Y button, and then again, get out your nails as well. Press the Y button when you're on the nails. Use the hammer. Job's done. Does that automatically. I don't actually think you can fall off. Um... You can worth it's it's worth trying, but I don't actually think you can. So when we get to the other side of the bridge, we'll unlock an achievement, and we're going to head to the right. Um, and you see this sort of blue or purplish-looking rock. There is a rat cage with a bunch of whole rat crap in it, which we need to eat, uh, take. And if you head to the left and just forward a little bit, you're going to see this little egg as well. That's a missable achievement, so make sure to grab this Easter egg before we leave. So now we're going to head back on ourselves, sort of past this mini tree. We're just going towards this giant, huge rock now. And if we go around the other side of it, there is going to be a right wing. So, <laughs> yeah, we do need both. Liam's still confused as we are, but that is all that we need before we head back over. So, again, I've got to apologize, guys, if it's a little bit uh, too fast or anything for you. You've always got the option, if you're on a web browser, to s actually slow the video down if I'm going a little bit too quick for you. So, I do apologize if it is a bit. Uh, now, head to the back of the house, have a look at this cellar lock, and the key code is 4762. So that's 4762. That's to open up the cellar lock right here. And um, again, we're going to be grabbing a couple of little things underneath. Yeah. So the wheel is the first thing, or the propeller is the first thing. 
we're going to be taking. The wheel is going to be the second thing. Doesn't matter what order you do that one in. And oh, how nice. So we're actually going to be taking this rat shit. And again, try not to put it in your mouth. It doesn't taste the same as um, uh, Kit Kats, the brown fingers. So I wouldn't. So crouch down, interact with the rats. And then we're actually going to be using the rat cage with rat crap already in it for some reason. Just to make them all feel at home. Because they're all just little insignificant crap creatures, aren't they? Um, so that will get us an achievement. Um, have a look at this blue box. And we need to actually be grabbing all of the corn. So make sure to grab all three bits of corn haul. Corn haul olio. Uh, have a look behind you. And on the sh just very much underneath there's a piggy bank. We need to pick it up and drop it. And that's actually going to get us the Acme key. A-C-M-E key. Uh, now pick up the vodka bottle. Again... This isn't just me being an alcoholic. Um, this is actually for the. Uh, this is for parrot bitch. So two vodka bottles there. Pick up the left engine, and there are going to be another two vodka bottles that we need. For forty percent of pure, just tastes like fuel and petrol death. But I love it. And anyway, pick up the slingshot as well. That's another important one. So you should have got the left engine, four vodkas. The slingshot and a long fuel pipe on the top right there. So, the slingshot comes in handy for this. So, interact with the Acme balloon and then use the slingshot on it. Again, see, it's all method to our madness since we are on just some kind of mega trip. Oh, no, it almost hit me. Interact with the wooden crate. Uh, crate and <laughs> there's nothing to the right. And then use the... Hammer on it, because of course you can't really smash a right engine on it, although I suppose it's worth a shot. So that gives us what looks like a sort of 1950s Formula 1 steering wheel. Which I would love. I love Formula 1, so that would really turn me on if that was the case. Found that in a box. Head over back to Parrot Bitch, the Pigeon Parrot Bitch, or Psycho Parrot, as the game likes to call it. He's actually got something that we need, um, but he's not going to give it to us. But this is why we picked up the vodka and the sunflower, because um, Parrot Bitch is an alcoholic <laughs> legend. <laughs> like what? I don't know. What do you want? Fuck that! I don't need any... Wait! You got any booze? I haven't had any alcohol in a long-ass time. Bring me some booze and I'll give you my nest. Oh, wait! Uh, uh, some snacks, too. Like sunflower seeds. Damn, there's something else I gotta say. Yeah, yeah. Cut the crap and give me my... So when he's done yapping, press B to back out. And then press A to interact with him again. And this time, we can see... Here's your vodka. I don't know what kind of island... <laughs> birds drink vodka. But I like it. Floating crapland, birds drinking booze. I, I like it. So this is why we've got the sunflower seeds, obviously, a little bit earlier on as well. So you need to back, back out. And then interact with him again. This time give him the, uh, say, here's your bird snack, give him the sunflower. But we're not just going to be letting him do that. We're going to be getting another missable achievement now. So back out, go back in. And just keep giving him the sunflower seeds until you get the achievement called overweight. Um, <laughs> so he gives us what we need, which is nice, but again, we are, as soon as he gives us that, just keep backing out, interacting with him again, keep saying, here's his snacks, and he's actually going to crap out some corn, which we need to pick up again. I don't know what it is about this game with picking up crap-related, poop-related, moldy-related stuff, but it seems to be working to get us wherever we need to go. And so literally we can just keep keep feeding him until he gets the achievement. I mean, well, we get the achievement. And then what we can do is pick up the fuel tank, which was his home for some reason. And then pick up... You don't have to pick up the fermented sunflower. It's the fermented corn, which we actually need to pick up. Um, you only need to pick up one. But again, this is just as a precaution. I pick up all the crap and even the birds like, bruh. You're literally collecting shit right now. You are literally putting it in your pocket. It's all going through your fingers and stuff. It's not even hard. What the hell? Anyway, back into the workshop now. Have a look at this roto charger, this battery charger right here. Now, what we need to do is obviously charge up the battery. That's what it's for. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty crap battery. 
And so on the right hand side then, if you get out your inventory, it's on the right hand side is where we'll actually need to put the battery. But for some reason I had trouble figuring that out. I really don't understand why. Uh, yeah. So there it is. So on the right hand side then, so we get there eventually. And then what you have to do to get it to start, you actually need to get the rat, which we picked up a little bit earlier on. And we've probably got some aids from it now after he bit us, but we need to put him in there, uh, in the wheel, switch switch it on, and then we have to do a few things. So we're going to uh, for wait for the battery to charge. So what we're going to do is put the wheel on first. Uh, so we're just going to sort of start building up the airplane now. So put the wheel on first, and then head down and... Obviously, it, it tells you what sort of part and where you need to obviously put it, which is very nice and easy. So we need to be putting the right side um, wing on. I forgot what it was called then. So put the right side wing on first. And then we need to put the right side engine on. I mean, it's all very self-explanatory, but, you know, I, I like talking to you guys. Uh, use the propeller. Anyone will do. And there we go. So we're all we're halfway there. Open up, the, open up the hood. And again, we've got a few things to be putting in here as well. So the first one is going to be the fuel tank. Right next to the fuel tank, we're going to be putting the um, control unit. I was going to call it a battery then, but we don't have the battery, so it's the control unit is what we need. Then if you actually have a look inside a little bit closer in and uh, just with the control unit at the bottom of the control unit in the fuel tank we need to be putting the short fuel pipe and then right at the very bottom of the control unit you can just see you can just see a sort of light up there that's where we need to put be putting the long fuel um pipe so i literally forgot what it was then but yeah the long fuel pipe uh, obviously, that's where the battery is meant to go, but we don't have that yet. But we can actually place the electrical cables next to it right now. So don't put the fermented corn in it, for God's sake. You don't want you don't want your car plane smelling of absolute poop death. Not from Parrot Bitch, anyway. <laughs> but now we'll go ahead and put the left engine on. I told you this level has a lot of a lot of things to it. But the next one is a lot, lot less involved and a lot nicer. So put the left engine on, put the propeller on, don't put the rat crap on it, unless you want it for decoration, I suppose. People have done worse things. Um, we're going to be putting the next left wing on. God, I keep forgetting all these bloody names. Uh, so the left wing, and we can also now put the steel wheel on that we found earlier on as well. So make sure to put that on. So obviously I'm trying to go sort of quickly, but as slowly as I can with this bit. Just so you can keep up, um, because there is a lot of involvement in this game. So, the doors work, which, well, at least that's something, I suppose. But we can obviously put the hammer where the steering wheel... No, I'm just joking, I'm messing with you. Put the steering wheel where the steering wheel usually goes. And then put the wheel where the wheel normally goes. Those two, I feel, should be fairly obvious. But, you know, it's, again, it's always a just-in-case thing, isn't it? So with this bit, we can close the trunk. Now the battery should be done, but we are not quite done. We still need some fuel. So make sure to turn it off and then pick up the battery. That will get us the animal abuser achievement. I don't think that one is um, unmissable. I think that's unmissable. But now we are going to be getting some fuel. Now there's a certain way to do this. So first of all, put the empty fuel gas canister right there and then the battery on the left hand side. So the fuel canister on the right and then the battery on the left. But to actually make fuel, now I don't know if this you can actually do this in real life, but it's worth a shot. Put the 40% vodka in. So again, press the Y button to put it in. Uh, interact with the fuel cooker again. And then put in the fermented corn. And then press the on button, which is on the, um, on the bottom of the fuel cooker. Now when this little bit turns red, so interact with it, just get it ready. And then head on over to the rat shite. But when the colour turns red, that is when you're supposed to put the ratchet in, making the fuel. So hover over it, wait until it turns red, and then press the Y button to put in the wrap dropping. So here it is then, it's red now. That apparently makes fuel. So I don't know if anyone wants to go and take a look and pick up all the disgustingness and um, see if that's actually a thing. 
No doubt somebody will do it on YouTube, unless it's already on there. <laughs> but that will get us the fuel and an achievement, so we need to charge the battery back up. So what we need to do is obviously just go back to the roto charger, put your battery down and switch the on button because the animal's already there. Uh, so we're just going to do a couple more things now, i.e. put in the fuel. So interact with the fuel tank, put the fuel full fuel cannon and obviously put the fuel tank cap on as well. Otherwise that's just spilling everywhere and all your hard work will be undone. So that should already be the battery charger done now, so turn it off, pick up your battery, and we are almost basically done, finally. So, that's all you got to do, pot your battery in, honey, put it in, put it in. And then, actually all the, you know, disgusting poop that's in our hands now we can actually just uh, get rid of. So we need to actually open it up first then. And it's the same as earlier then, so um, go left on the directional stick to go counterclockwise, and then right, etc. But it's 19 first, and then go right to 5, and then go left to 28. So it's 19, 5, 28. That will open up the door, get us the achievement, and that will be good. Um, so yeah, it's a, it is a bit confusing to go sort of left to go counterclockwise, left to go right, and then right to go left, but hopefully you know it's not all too bad so open up the door close the hood and then interact with the driver's seat we actually obviously need to do one more thing and that is just putting the acme key in it so start up the acme key and baby we are out of meow finally goodbye parrot bitch come on go up holy cow that was a close one uh, what was that? Wait, the steering doesn't work. What do I do? Fuck, it's broken. <sighs> Not again. Hey, isn't that Sarah's car? It's possible. She wouldn't drive that fast. Oh shit, what's happening? No! What the fuck's going on? How do I wake up? This time I'm happy I'm still dreaming. But now what? A cinema? Well, this looks like I painted it. What actually happened? I remember I saw Jason at that gas station, took a few photos. Right, I was driving back to Sarah, and... Damn it! Can't remember anything. Especially not an accident. This doesn't make any sense. Could Jason... So this is the final sort of level now in the game, so have a look at the screen for a couple of seconds um, because we need an achievement for looking at all of the screens in the cinema. But we're going to head down, we're about, we're less than 10 minutes away from the game now. So head out, go to the left, we're going into the toilet, there's two reasons we're coming in here. One's for a miserable achievement, so go ahead and flush this toilet. It looks very futuristic, very modern, but flush that, that'll get you an achievement. Take a look in, see if there's any keys in the... Oh, God damn! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, oh, you guys! Well, let's have another look anyway. Ah, oh, God damn! Nah, come on! Oh, so you've just got pissy water over your face. I hope you're happy with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to open up the second cubicle, take a look at the guy. Hmm, shit him and his pants on. Grab the money from the third cubicle, this is important, so you need to be grabbing the $30, and again, take a look at the guy, that's... He's literally staring us out, because he's taking a dump with his pants on. Screw you, buddy, <laughs> screw you. Anyway, that is all we needed to come for, so it was for the money, and for the missable achievement, and to get pissy water in your face. So head down, and have a look at these two people and uh, on the benches, and in between them will be another Tendora, and a first aid candy. Head directly behind you, and then as soon as you get to this sort of main area, go directly to the left, and there's going to be this mini game. Now, this is a lot easier than the ones that we played earlier, literally. All we got to do, all you got to do is just hit every single square until it turns orange, and then as soon as everything's orange, you just interact with all the squares again just to break them all down. It's very, very easy. You press the right, uh, hold the right trigger, and then use the directional stick to rotate it. Um, but this ca this takes it takes a couple of minutes anyway. But um, oof, yeah, finally we can all have a break. But this just looks like a giant dong here, which hilariated me to no end. <laughs> 
What's funny is, by the way, we um, splashed our water with uh, splashed our face with toilet water. Didn't actually wash our face or our hands. So, you know, we've still got pissy face water. Good, good times, yo. But again, just keep doing this. It's going to take a couple of minutes, but it's literally you're not on a timer or anything. So just enjoy it for a minute. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! We've become the next Queen of Britain! <laughs> I tell you what, is that all it takes to uh, become the next Queen of Britain? I'll do it. I will do it. I will paint a giant dong orange and then smash it down. Easy. So anyway, have a look in the photo booth now, and there you're going to see another five euros. I was, I was calling dollars, it's euros, it's well, whatever the hell it is. But anyway, we're now going to be buying six cinema tickets. So head to the lady in the blue dress. You know, destroy everything there first if you want. <laughs> uh, but we need to be buying every single uh, cinema ticket. So go ahead and do that. Black Mustang, Knife Runner, The Array. Yeah, very, very thought out uh, cinema titles there, guys. Uh, <laughs> and then what we're going to do is uh, go sort of into the corner so directly behind us there's going to be another toilet and there's going to be a guy standing there what he wants um he needs some yellow snow lemonade so basically he wants to drink pee nothing wrong with that we we have to some of us have been desperate before you know bear grills etc so anyway head back to the sort of main cinema area now and then head down so where are we going to go first we're actually going into number one and then we're going to be giving the ticket inspector the grandfather cinema ticket. So give him the grandfather. And then what we can do is actually head on in. And the yellow snow lemonade is going to be in this bin directly in front of us. So make sure to take that. Luckily it doesn't look like pee. And then for a second or two just have a look at the screen. Because of course like I said we need to be looking at all movies. So go into number three next. And then give him the kick me uh, cinema ticket that that way we can go in again just have a look at the screen for a second or two S silent Jay and bob <laughs> i love it i love games like this where they've just got loads and loads of just easter eggs and stuff like that class anyway heading to number two and we're going to be giving this guy the good guys ticket now and give him the good guys ticket again we're going to be heading in and just look at the screen again for a second or two. <laughs> Honestly, this game, this game is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, fantastic. And then we can head out. And then go all the way to the opposite end. So go ahead and head into screen four right here. We're going to be giving him the Black Mustang. Black Mustang Sally. Uh, have a look at the screen for a second or two. Didn't expect it to be a horse, to be honest. Uh, but, but there we go. And for the final one, we can ignore number five because that's where we started. So go to number six and then give him the uh, the array. Sounds very nice, doesn't it? But have again a look at the cinema screen for a couple of seconds and that should unlock the achievement. If it hasn't unlocked here... Um, just go ahead and go through each cinema screen again and look at it for about a second or two again. Pick up some more yellow snow piss lemonade if you want. That's fine. We all get a bit thirsty. But now what we can do, we've done all that bit. Now we can head back to the guy. So from where we are in the main lobby, it's obviously in the right, sort of right-hand bottom corner. Um, next to the other toilets. So we're going to give him some yellow snow lemonade. Imagine we have to give him a drink so we can go to the toilet. 
What the hell? That wouldn't happen in a normal cinema. You'd get punched, especially the ones I go to. But when we are allowed an entry, have a look at the white coat and have a look at the ID in the pocket. And make sure to pick that one up. That's all we need is just the ID. And then out of here, head to the left and go to the photo booth where we played the um, Queen of Britain game earlier on. So just go ahead, head straight in. And then a couple of tiny little things to do. So what you have to do then is obviously... Uh, interact with the left button out of the two there put your ID in so again obviously press Y to use the ID card on the left blue button there the one with the paper and then obviously use the money on the right side 13 euros left man lots of money press the camera button and then that will give us the picture of a monkey for some reason or I don't I don't even know I tell you what the guys at Coal Valley must have had a hell of a blast <laughs> making this game so go over to the nurse then interact give her the ID don't give her anything else because she calls us a fucker sorry for the language but she says stop messing around you fucker anyway give her the ID even though that's not us but that is basically now the end of the game guys so yeah awesome so I really hope you had a good time along with it all we're gonna do is just look in the window it's basically gonna end the game here but yeah, so that is it. It's it's a short game, but it's an enjoyable game. Um, I really hope you had a good time with the game. Hope Hopefully you had a good few laughs on the guide as well. I know it was quite quick and it's a lot of my voice in it, so apologies if that does annoy you. Because I know it, it does annoy some people, so I'm sorry about that. But again, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Uh, if it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Uh, obviously check me out on all my socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, also on Patreon as well, all the uh, details and links are provided in the description below. Big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon and for everyone else who continues to support the channel on Patreon as well. But that is that then guys and gals, so thanks so much for watching, see you in the next one, big love.